the Nigerian Genius. My name is Ameka Obiolu. Um, I'm the CEO of the Offshore Lab. My first degree was mechanical engineering. I um, further got a second degree in uh, subsea engineering in Aberdeen. And a lot of my working experience was offshore. I started my career as a field engineer on um, a dive support vessel offshore. Uh, moved to project engineering, then into management. Um, worked in a few countries, so from Aberdeen, I moved to Egypt, Gulf of Mexico, spent some time in the Caribbean, uh, Trinidad, um, before moving back to Nigeria. Um, one more stop at UK before moving back to Nigeria, where we started uh, the Offshore Lab, which currently is a project delivery, technology and capacity building company. Um, so the capacity building part of what we do is what massively resonates with me coming and experiencing what I've experienced here today. Um, and also the engineer, young man in me as well, who gets excited when I see all of the toys and all of these come to life. Um, and what I've experienced here is nothing short of breathtaking. Um, you have a world-class facility and um, a process and a structure that has actually been built to create unforgettable experience, build a foundation and create that academia industry linkage, which both the contestants here and another cohort of 24 learners are experiencing firsthand, you know, in this exceptional facility. Um, I think anyone who hasn't seen this should actually come see for themselves to understand the breadth of what we're doing. And I think it should serve as an inspiration um, to a whole lot of other institutions, establishments and companies to create things like this to support the academia, to support young people. Um, we have 52% unemployment for young people in Nigeria today. We have four to five million of them going into the job market where we don't have 5% of those jobs available. So you really need opportunities like this. You really need platforms like this because the flip side of having all of these young people that could be potentially part of the labor market is having them becoming part of the country's insecurity. So if we don't key into what we are experiencing here today to scale it up and create more of it, this is the flip side of what you're experiencing. So without a doubt, I am very pleased, I'm very excited, and I'm very motivated by all I have seen here today. And for the young people, the young geniuses, as they truly are, I am privileged and I've been privileged to speak to them and to work with their mates and I see the sky as their limits in their future endeavors. The deserved final word should be to the brains behind this initiative. Um, uh, of course, the indefatigable Tochiku and his can-do spirit. And as much as and to anyone else who has keyed into it, bought into it and co-sponsored what he's doing, um, I think it's absolutely commendable um, I, I really think uh, more attention should be paid to engineering and to platforms like this that make engineering what it should be. You know, create that platform for these young people to understand what they have and to make the best of it. So don't take this experience you have here for granted at all. It has laid seeds that all that is left now is with you. It's okay to be intelligent, it's okay to be skilled, it's okay to be geniuses, right? But the most important thing that will ex excel you from this level and differentiate you from the rest of the crowd, you can see from this gentleman here, passion, a lot of it, stubbornness. As you, there is no one in this level that will tell you he came in, started and everything was moving. It will, you will get to the point, if, you get, if you're trying and it doesn't look impossible, then you're not trying hard enough. If you don't wake up in the morning and think, am I mad? You're not trying hard enough. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. So that resilience, that stubbornness, that character, retaining that integrity and staying focused and driven, if that's the only thing you take away from here, obviously you're always that already and, and I'm the only non-genius here. And I'm privileged to be in the midst of genius. If you take those things out to the world you're going out tomorrow, honestly, with people like you, we'll stop talking about problems in my 
Nigeria. Thank you very much to Clinton L. A massive thank you. Thank you very much to the co-sponsors. And um, I think I use this as an opportunity to solicit for more of this across the country to actually get us to where with the massive pool of skill sets, young talent that we have, we know we have the potential to get to. Nigerian genius.